We do indulge in cheekiness and fun and play, yeah. and play as a really productive site for creativity. Lisa and I were doing our own studio work, and then we had this collaboration that we called Las Hermanas Iglesias. Circa and it, 2006. Circa 2006, yeah. right? So like every, so Las Hermanas was this kind of third person. Yeah. A lot of the work had to do with uh, us as sisters, exploring that relationship, exploring our family. It also tended to be a little bit more uh, rooted in working with communities, working with social spaces. Mm -hmm. Participatory and very much about fusion, very much about um, a lot of absurdity. So we'll do sibling rivalry projects or we'll do work that really comments upon mashing up Norwegian and Dominican traditions and tropes. Yeah. Light and marrying comes up a lot, I think, definitely with this idea of twinning mm -hmm. and this kind of companionship that Janelle and I have, this symmetricality and asymmetricality, yeah. um, and this bouncing back and forth and mirroring each other comes mm -hmm. into some of the imagery as well as some of the, uh, the choices, the decisions that we make, or the materials that we make, yeah. that we use. It's going back to what we were saying before about it's about the collaborative act. Yeah, it's, it's so Janelle and I are very much still learning how to, debate, to collaborate, learning, how, learning to fight, how to fight, learning how to disagree. We've gotten so much better at fighting than we used to be. We're very good at it, and now we're much better at it. Um, sometimes these drawings, I think, are fights between us. Yeah, you we know? try to like kill like I do something, and the other person does something completely different, and then yeah, and some of it is about almost making up or resurrecting or reconciling. Um, all these different ways of wanting that piece to go. And sometimes it's just like, I make a mark, she makes a mark, we're like, done. Exactly, that looks, you know, we're so excited. It's, that feels, that feels right. So the project we've been working on this summer, um, is a collaboration with um, the Good Companion Senior Center. Which is under Henry Street Settlement, and which is also under that umbrella is Abrams Art Center. Yeah, and they're a really amazing organization on the Lower East Side. Um, they're one of the oldest social work organizations in the United States. They do all kinds of things from healthcare and job training and placement to after school to the arts. And I think the challenge was sort of, well, how do you um, how do you create a project that goes a little bit beyond just sort of an arts and crafts workshop? So I think oftentimes different populations feel that contemporary art's not for them, or it's not, can feel, can feel really alienated by it. So instead of going in and having this really concrete idea about what we wanted to do, we just sort of had lunch with people and started talking to them and seeing what people there would be interested in, and it was where the excitement the, was. The language of celebration was not only familiar, but also Exciting yeah. to them. When we said like, well, what's your favorite thing about Good Companions? It was like the birthday party. Partying. It was number one. Yeah. We had we had heard this previously, like celebration. Yeah, they like to they like to party over there. All of a sudden, being an artist felt like you were actually really engaged and participating, no matter what you were doing, because you were sort of part of that. You were actively questioning. You were actively engaged with what was going on. You were actively looking and listening all the time. 